Well, we're trying to just bring the arts to the community, you know, that without the arts, why bother? The joy in it for me is taking a little child who has absolutely no confidence in themselves and they come in here and they're shy and timid and then they start doing well in class and they find their confidence and that character comes out. A lot of these kids that are in my company now, I've known since they were five and I've seen them when they were the cute little kids that had no coordination and I've seen them master that and find themselves and to be the, the amazing dancers that they are today. It's a blast. We get to spend a ridiculous amount of time together, probably more time with each other than our own families, and have shared, especially even this year, the highest of highs and the lowest of lows with each other, um, and can support each other beyond just the walls of the wardrobe room, which is really nice. Four. Russian, sir. We believe very strongly in what Patrick does and his philosophy and what he does for our kids, so it e e makes it easy for us to give that time. The girls that come and, and the boys that come have dreams of doing this professionally. Mid-Atlantic Ballet takes their training very seriously. He cares about the kids and keeping them safe and healthy and strong so that those who want to and are able to continue later in life can. I find that with the children, if you expect something from them and don't treat them like children, they're usually going to come up and, and give that to you. I also find that the kids that do take the ballet classes are much stronger in everything else that they do. It teaches them to focus, it gives them a commitment. And when you're doing a performance, you are working with a group of people. It's not just Cinderella that everyone's come to see. It's everybody else. So they're learning that, that camaraderie, that citizenship, where they're working together as a group. Because if everybody doesn't do their part, then it doesn't succeed. There's a lot that Newark offers that other towns don't have, and to have the arts like this in a town like Newark is really special. Twenty-five years ago, we were struggling for a place to, to just practice. Uh, I had gone to Africa the year before and brought back one drum, and that wasn't quite enough. So we went down to a local dairy in Bridgeville and picked up some ice cream buckets. And they were nice two and a half, three gallons, you know, nice size. And the young people learned how to play the drums and make cymbals with Coke bottles and a spoon. And the church next door, let it, let, they've let us practice and perform here for 25 years at no charge. Before I came here, I knew a lot about, I knew something about African American culture, but then I wasn't really deep into it, but when I got here, I got to learn more about it. When we're out performing, it makes me feel good that like, I'm just not sitting at home doing absolutely nothing all day long with my life, and I can get out and be active, stay in shape. What keeps me coming here is just the fact that I like to dance, and I feel like when I come here, I can express that. We also are working on creating our own dances, just off of our own imaginations. The name means return to your roots. So again, it makes a lot of people come to us and learn about it and make them return to their roots, learn more about Africa. We've outgrown this building. So we decided 20 years ago that we wanted our own place. So we, we embarked on a, on a project to build a new building. The place will be bulging with kids every night after school and during the summer. We have a string orchestra now. We expect to have uh, Western ballet, not only African ballet, but Western style ballet. We, we have chess clubs. We have the things that will make life a bit more enjoyable for our kids.
our goal is to affect people and to have them respond and to feel something viscerally, not just intellectually. Our logo shows a dance figure in the écarté position. It's a very open kind of, uh, we call it épaulement, which means shouldering. The literal meaning of the word in French is stretched apart from the center. So we felt that that really went along with our philosophy, which was to be open to so many of life's experiences, to be all-inclusive as far as uh, ages and ethnic backgrounds and experiences that we could draw from. We really feel strongly that all ages can make a big contribution through the arts. We feel that the, the younger ones, of course, learn from the older ones, but I still learn at my age from the four-year-olds. <laughs> Dover had not been exposed to something that was avant-garde and that had a whole different way of approaching movement. I think they were more accustomed to thinking of dance as classical ballet. Because it is a modern dance company, I think that it really shows the community that dance is limitless, so that the human body can move in all sorts of ways which are valid and artistic. Art strives to reach deep into people and affect them and create a magic, and I, I feel that uh, we will create some magic.